So on our last episode, we went after a 1976 AMC Pacer. Now, we bought this car fairly cheap for only $300 in an old farm and ranch auction, so we wasn't expecting a whole lot out of it. Uh, once we got there and got to check it out a little better, uh, she was definitely everything we expected and more. The inside was just wires everywhere that someone had started just ripping the dash and all the interior out of it. Uh, with that being said though, we thought we'd go ahead and give her a shot to see if she would crank up and run on the spot, at least try to drive on the trailer for us. Uh, after we fought her for a little while, she ended up firing up finally, was able to shift it in gear, and at least drive it around the lot. I couldn't let myself know that we were just going to drive it onto the trailer after this, so we decided to dig into the brakes a little bit more. And well, that leads us up to this video, to where we're going to try to pick back up on the brakes, see if we can get them stopping, and see if we can take this old girl back home with us. Well guys, we're back out here on day two with an old AMC Pacer. Uh, kind of hoping that today will go a little bit better than yesterday did. We worked until the sun went down. Uh, as you can tell, we went ahead and pulled off the old tire on the back here. It was leaking around the bead, so we went ahead. It was so dry rotted. I bought an old used tire that I'm going to have uh, Christian throw that up on there. Uh, but the game plan is so far is we're going to go ahead and try to pick back up on the brakes. We got the master cylinder installed. Uh, going to go ahead and try to replace this brake line that broke here. And then up front here, we were having trouble with, our, uh, with just the bleeder valves on the calipers. So uh, we actually were able to buy some new calipers that we're hoping will fit on be uh, the ones we're needing. If not, we'll try to get them old bleeder valves out. Hopefully we can bleed the brakes. Seems to be running okay, so we're just going to start there. If we can get her to stop, I'm going to take her on home today. I may go ahead and pull this relay off. What are you going to try to... I was fixing to try to that yeah, brake line? cut that brake line and see what... Yeah, I'll get that relay exchanged. That way we're not having to... Rig that anymore. Let me make sure I got the right, right two pieces here. Got Christian popping on the rear wheel again for us, and and I'll try to go ahead and steal that jack from back of the car and get it up front here and see if our calipers look like they're going to be what we need. Get this relay replaced here. I won't have to worry about and actually kick it with the key. Did we ever grab that stuff out of the truck, or is it still back there? Uh, the I think it's right there, that farthest bag. Looks the same. So far, so good. <laughs> I'll get a better start today. We should be good on tires. Good? Uh-huh. If you want to let the back end of it down and yeah. we'll move that jack up front. Woo! <laughs> That's quicker one than way you to thought do it. it would, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, a little faster than I think she was expecting <laughs> it. I wasn't expecting to go down so fast. These cars ain't made out of plastic like your little smart car. <laughs> I'll drag it up front here and we'll try to get yeah. these front wheels off. Should save a lot of headache. <laughs> and, don't, and don't hardly roll very good out here in the grass. See. 
bag and this tubing cutter. Do you need a work. jack stand, bub? Yeah, we're gonna throw some jack stands up underneath here. I guess while we got it up, might as well go ahead and change the oil in it. Yeah. We got it. Know that it's got a little bit of... New lube? Yeah. Might help, help that little bit of the lifter noise we were hearing. You got that impact, Christian? We'll yeah. go ahead and take these wheels off here. Want me to? Yeah, you can get them. I might okay. have to spray them down with some WD-40. They coming? Yep, first one's coming out. Cool. Sorry to give you a little squirt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Probably need it. I kind of squeak sometimes. Yeah, these are coming out real simple. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that back wheel was hard to get off that hub on the back. I'm hoping these don't give us as much of a headache. Pretty good too. They fit so tight on those hubs, they don't want to come off. I brought back a bigger hammer, so. Ah, goodness. You ain't kicking hard enough. <laughs> like Dad said, I'm oh. <laughs> <laughs> Something fell off, it's just an old relay. You got a hammer, Dad? Yep. Yeah, you can be Thor. <laughs> These old tires here sure look good on the tread, but I don't know <laughs> if you guys can see that. They are dry rotted. So hopefully that don't give us any issues on the way home. They are doing a little road construction though on the way back, so that That's, should either be a good thing or a bad thing. Try to keep you from getting up too fast. <laughs> yeah. I never seen some grip on that tight. There it goes, I think. There we go. Can you imagine doing that on the side <laughs> of the road? <laughs> Having a flat? Oh man, them calipers look pretty big compared to the ones we got. Check them out. So, here's what we got. And the box don't even look big enough to be that. I bet we're not gonna have the right ones. Well, unless they come apart somehow. So that's actually the back. It's probably the other side. Maybe. I think they might work. All right, Christian. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have a few bolts we're gonna have to pull apart somewhere on this. Never really seen one set up like this. <laughs> Let's 
So this is kind of a weird design here. Uh, the caliper has a separate piece here that apparently, you know, it doesn't come all in one, one piece with the new part. So we're going to have to reuse this part. I'm trying to see how we actually come apart here though. I'm assuming we take this off and maybe this just folds down. So I'm going to go buy, uh, grab me an Allen head, take that out see what it does hopefully well, so far so good we're getting there gonna work I believe so. I believe I'm going to be able to do enough bending here and there to get it to line up. Not wanting to come loose. No, I can't figure it out. Figure it out. It doesn't have Allen's coming in from the side. It's got one at the top. It's kind of a weird setup. So it had a had just an Allen head or screw that went in right there, and that's it. So it looks like this hinges back, maybe. I'm wondering if that's a uh, like a. Oh, it slides forward slides, and backwards. Slides in and out. Yeah, I, I bet it does. Come completely out. All right, yeah, I'll try that. If it works, I'll give you credit. <laughs> if, it, if it don't, you give me credit too, I bet. Aha. Looks like we're on to something here. Probably going to go ahead and try to break that brake hose loose real quick first. Yeah, I think you were right. Well, you better jump on it. It ain't how often I get to be right <laughs> and be right. I, I always say I'm right. Using those wrenches that I had laid yes, up Yes, sir. Here. Just a second. I'm almost done with it. Got the nice big tool set, and we need the same wrenches. Hey, Christian, if you want to get that, uh, there, that big black pan thing there, uh -huh. take those pliers out of it. I can have you try to start draining this oil. You can put it up underneath the car there. I'm gonna try to see what, so there's a plug. I'll kind of show you what I'm doing here. Uh -huh. There's a plug right here. Teamwork makes the thing work. Anyway, oh, it wasn't even tight. All right. Oh, I'll let you get grass and dirt in your eyes. Oh, goodness. Mouth. Well, I came so off you easy. So that plug right there? Uh-huh. You'll loosen it out, put the pan up underneath there, and all of its blood oh, and all right. eternals will come out. I'm trying to figure out how you laid, because my hat's Get your be bucket right ready. Now. All right. Where's it at again? Right there. Right. Okay, I couldn't see it. I see it now. What did you do with those little wrenches? Not right here. here. We're just going to go ahead and just replace the calipers or are we going to try to? Uh, honestly, I'm just trying to get these ones off and we can look at them to see. It might Possibly be easier to have them, them out. Yeah. yeah. Can I do it by hand? Yep. Uh. Remember, you got to taste it too. Uh. <laughs> After uh -huh. you wear it. Well, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, that, don't tell mom. So when that happens, you just go and you wipe it on your pants. And... Oh, mom would kill me. <laughs> I think there's some shop towels somewhere. All right. If not, rub it on the grass. Yeah, there's some shop towels over there behind that box. You act like I'm scared to get dirty. Ooh, man. This brake hose. 
So we tried to get brake hoses, but he said there was like only one place he could find them and that was gonna be three days away. So I don't know if y'all can see that, but that is extremely scary on that. Especially once they start building up some pressure. So hopefully that don't give us no issues. Don't wanna lose that little washer on there. My hands are soft now. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, don't lose that. Put it up somewhere where it won't get dirty. Alrighty. Oh, the pads look pretty good. We got spider webs all in that thing too, inside of it. Where at? Oh yeah. <laughs> well. I'd have been why it wasn't working. <laughs> yeah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the piston's already pressed back up in there, so I think I can, we won't have to worry about that. Just like that. Now if I can figure out this again. Can probably crawl up underneath there and put that Tighten plug back, back in. Yeah. Just don't hit me with the hammer. Mm -hmm. If I'm that far off, I don't need to be swinging a hammer. Getting it? Yeah, I think I cross-threaded it. There oh, we go. We're it. good. <laughs> How's your brake uh, hose look? It's uh, it's real brittle right there at the uh, top, right where it goes in. And, yeah, and at the top. I might have you help me on this. All right. I'm not really sure how to use this thing correctly. Yeah, no one knows how to use a swivel <laughs> correctly. They're kind of they're tricky. <laughs> yeah. Every time I think I about have it, I don't. <laughs> Yeah, these swivels are... They're, they're confusing. <laughs> they're hard to work sometimes. Oh, it looks a lot blacker than what it did when we checked it on the stick, to me. I'm gonna try to move this pan and where we can pull the oil filter on. Hopefully not make too big of a mess. Well, come on over and bother you some. All right, that'll work. That'll work. Yes, ma'am. Right. Now just to... New oil, new brakes, new, new wires. The only thing new it needs is the attitude. <laughs> New home, hopefully. New brake fluid, too. Master cylinder, yeah. Okay. All right, you want to grab me a wrench now? Yeah. How's that side going? Pretty good. I think it's a 7 16 Christian. A 7 16 Got it. Well, nice to have. A go-getter, huh? A gopher, yeah. <laughs> if 
You want to top her off with oil, Christian? Yep. The whole thing. The whole thing? Yeah, it'll take it a little slow because that's a small funnel, so. Okay. Alrighty, I'm all back together over here. So where are we at? We're we at putting the wheels back on and I think just leave them off leave right them off. now, yeah, where we can get at everything. Guess we need brake fluid in there. I put I filled it up while oh, we did. Yep. So I just need to start see if it even does anything. Which, we, like I said, we didn't yeah. bench bleed that master cylinder, so it's... So, uh, I know we're going about this backwards because we're supposed to start back there and work our way to the we front. We can. Way. I'm just trying to see. Okay. We can start on the back. Yeah, I say let's start on the... If, if they'll break loose, if the, if the right. bleeder valves will break loose on the back... Like I said, we don't even know them wheel cylinders may, may be bad. They may leak. <laughs> uh, let's see what they look like. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, gosh. Yeah. It's a 5 sixteenths. 5 sixteenths? Yeah, you got that quarter. Yeah. Let's read you here. Okay. You want you want a pump or you, no? You can pump. I'll I'll get back in. See what we get. I don't know whose blue shop towel I got, but <laughs> I'm gonna use it. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. I'm getting fluid. You are? Yeah. That's good. I'm getting bugs attacking me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, it went. First, I think I just got all fluid that time. Didn't feel like I had a pedal, but then I felt to go down. Okay, I'm twitching sides. All right. So I think we got the back brakes bled uh, pretty much. We're working on these front ones now. Uh, should go pretty quick. I'm starting to get a little bit of a pedal. So hopefully once we get all that worked out, I'll go ahead and do another lot drive if she's going to crank up for us today. I uh, got a relay installed on it. So it should crank up. Transmission seemed to be shifting okay. We got the oil changed. Uh, once we get these tested out, I'll make a little block around here and just see how she stops. Okay. Hmm, nothing. Go again? Uh, hopefully them brake lines ain't stopped up, or brake hoses. Okay. Nothing. Hmm. Hmm. I can, I can see what you're doing through this hole in the firewall, so that makes it handy. Do I? I said, I can see what you're doing through this hole oh. in the firewall, so that makes it handy. Yeah, these brake pads are still. Okay. No, we're not getting nothing. So we got either brake line stoppage or, well, that's about all it can be. Brake hose or brake line. New master cylinder, it should. It's got plenty of fluid in that one. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I'll pull the, pull the hose loose and see if it's coming out. Out there, but I bet they're stopped up. I bet they are too. I mean, this being all new here. And there ain't no way of fixing that. Ew, right? Wait a minute. Leaking. No, never mind. I thought that was the brake line. I thought that thing's mashed flat right there, but. Uh, there was just a wire about the same size. Yeah, it's not even holding it. Yeah. 
Nothing. I guess I'm gonna pull this loose and see. We don't have any way of blowing down in that. Oh yeah, yeah, I can see it stopped up right here. But if it maybe is just stopped up right there. Oh, in the going it, in? I didn't think about that. Uh, try pressing the pedal now. I just want to see if it might blow this out. Those hoses are just stopped up. Yeah. The thing I know to do is try to get them off and where we can blow through them somehow. But I mean, they're, they're scary bad shape. So now that we've got the rear brakes bled, uh, we're trying to work on these front ones to get them bled, but we're not getting any fluid down to the calipers. Uh, we tried to buy some brake hoses because we knew they would be rotten when we tried to disconnect these old calipers anyways. Uh, unfortunately, they were three days out of getting any. So I guess our game plan now is to go ahead and try to pull these old hoses off the best we can, see if we can blow through them. I mean, the only other option I know to do is try to find a different style of hose that maybe might still work in this application with the with the same uh, size ends on it uh, but we'll have to get them off regardless to even do that so i guess that's what we'll do we'll go ahead and get those pulled off and see if we can blow through them okay come ah don't tell me that one broke too got mine <laughs> I thought it might have broke off like that one in the master cylinder did at first. I think uh, next time we start on something like these, uh, I'll, still we're going to do a, uh, we're going to have a pot out here. Everybody pitch in the same amount. The first one that, that gets blood drawn wins the pot. <laughs> because I think I can just look at something and start bleeding. I wouldn't mind running like a wire through them had, had they not looked so bad on the on the outside. Right. I think I got that, but yeah, you're good now. At least I'll be able to see if I'm getting fluid. Well, I don't know. You see your little rag there? Oops. I don't know if that's WD-40 I sprayed or a brake fluid. I'm gonna press the pedal. Or have you press the pedal okay. if you want to, and I'll see if anything comes out here. You can go ahead. I ain't seeing nothing. There it is. Yeah, it's coming. So it's going to be that hose. But I can get it off. Try to do something with it, maybe. So, this is what we got. And I wouldn't think a, a hose like this would be too hard to find. Maybe a little longer, may not have this right end on it or whatever, but. Right. Yeah, it's stopped up. Whew. I don't think we have any wire or anything, do we? I don't think so. Not didn't, like that. Didn't bring the trailer, so ain't got no air. Hmm. 
Have to find some kind of a wire or something I can try to fish down through there. Ooh, that carb cleaner is a little, a little tardy on them lips. I hate doing that, but it just is not going to turn loose. Unfortunately, I feel like we're going to have to try to figure out something. Even if I got these cleaned out, I think the first time it built up a little pressure. We're going to see it leak. <laughs> yeah, we're going to see my eyes get real big because I'm hitting the brakes and it ain't stopping. Oh, there it goes. Went through it. with yours, huh? No, I would even put vice grips on them and tried to, because it rounded on even that other wrench. I just can't get her to, you think heat would do any good on it? Um, heat normally always makes stuff be a little bit more cooperative. All right, now we're about to go ahead and try to bleed these front brakes again. Uh, we fought and got the front brake hoses off. Mine was super stopped up. I had to take an old wire clothes hanger I found out of the back of the truck and just work it back and forth. Uh, they still look really bad on the outside. I don't know how much confidence I want to put in them. Uh, Dad blew through his with just a little bit of carb cleaner. So that should get the fluid down to the calipers where we can bleed them out. And then we'll know right off the bat if they're not going to hold up. They should, you know, start leaking somewhere. So uh, we're just going to see if we can get some fluid down to the calipers, see how well they look like they're holding up, and make the decision if we want to try to use them or try to figure out something else. Here we go. Ready? Yep. Should start seeing that hose move, maybe. All right, hold it. I got up. That was it. Go ahead. Something. Okay. Nothing. Ready? Yeah. No leaks? No leaks yet. You're going to get something this time. You're definitely going to get something this time. Okay, hold it. Oh, there. Starting to get something. Okay, go again. Okay, hold it. Brake hose holding up? It's holding up so far. Okay, I'm gonna call it good for right now. I'm gonna bleed the other side and then we, All may, right. we may come back. Blowing through that brake hose has got carb cleaner and brake fluid forever etched in my mouth. Okay, I'm ready. Yeah, I definitely got a pedal. All right, hold it. Okay, go again. Any fluid yet? Yeah, I got fluid, but lots of air though. Okay. Still getting some air, go ahead. Oh yeah, yeah that's pretty good. That's probably it, honestly. A little air, huh? Just a little bit, yep. I think we're good there. Can we go again or? Try it, see what you. 
I think we're good. Okay. Cool. Probably go ahead and throw these wheels back up on here if you want to. Alrighty. <clears throat> Do our little test run and she'll crank back up for us. I guess I still need a wire in the ignition switch though. Definitely want to pray over those brake hoses and this whole car before we head back though. <laughs> Might even pray over you. Yeah. <laughs> Get some insurance on her. I'll call Ashley real quick and let her know <laughs> if it's gonna be driving this thing. She get that that cheap insurance. Spin it first. Tighten it too much. Should be good with everything underneath there, huh? I think so. For now. Hopefully. Let me show you how Christian lets it down. <laughs> <laughs> <My finger. laughs> she ain't letting no grass grow under it. <laughs> So now that it seems like the brakes are working around the car the way they should be, or at least enough to have stopped me better than the emergency brake, I'm gonna go ahead and wire in an ignition switch inside the car where I'll be able to crank it and kill it and not have to worry about pulling wires or dad jumping across here. Uh, now that we got this new relay on here, that should fix that problem. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll put a little fuel on her, getting real close. Got plenty of daylight left to go ahead and try to make it home, which is a good thing because we're bypassing all the electrical stuff on here. So I won't have any headlights. Unfortunately, I won't have any tail lights. I have to try to use some hand signals or, or some kind of motions to let people know what's going on. Uh, but I'm pretty sure if they see this car on the road, they'll probably stay their distance anyways. Getting them windows clean for me? Trying to. <laughs> Pretty nasty. Oh yeah, really nasty. Tell it's been setting up underneath some trees or something. I'm just gonna pick a hole in the firewall. There's a rust hole right there I could use. Run these wires up through there to that ignition switch and lay it in the floor or something where I can at least feel a little safer if something happens. I can kill her down. Works for me. run this wire from our starter side of our little relay or solenoid, whatever you want to call it here. And this will send 12 volts to this, which will allow this to cross, uh, cross across there and go down to the starter. So basically yesterday we were just taking this wire and hooking it straight to the battery. This will eliminate that and all the sparking and all that good stuff. Sit right there. Dad, you want to check that oil level when you get a chance, Alrighty. make sure that everything looks good. I'm about to get serious with this old girl. 
Not to get serious. We're a little over full, but once that cranks up and it gets to that oil filter, oil flitter, we'll be okay. All right, so now I got this ran from uh, the relay there to our ignition switch to the starter side. I'll run a, just a 12 volt straight from the battery to the battery side. And then I'm off the ignition here, I'm gonna go ahead and run uh, to our, obviously our cool and our fuel pump will run off that. So I'll set it up here where it's not gonna be able to spark across to something and should be able to start and kill her. Keep up with my tools. Figure out a way to strap that in. Yeah, I may have to use your wire that you had a while ago to tie it right there, but I think we'll be fine after I get that dirt. I got some in. straps. Okay, yeah, that'll work. Super rigging this right now. There's no other, uh, there's no other explanation or reasoning behind that, except it's just the simplest thing to do right now. Now I'm just going to run me a short wire up through that hole and that'll go to our coil and our fuel pump. However, I can tie it in together. I ought to leave it dirty above the inspection sticker. <laughs> yeah, keep their attention off of that anyways. Hard to believe that it seems like we're close enough to possibly driving her back to the, to the shop. A few more wires. Let me go ahead and put gas in this and make sure it's not leaking out. Yeah. I'm almost to the point of trying this out. Christian's almost got the windows cleaned up, smudged up. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Good thing is when you leave here, you should have pretty close to a full tank. Yeah, that's one of the issues. That tank is probably only a little bit over a gallon, so I'm hoping this thing will get decent fuel mileage. <laughs> or we might be pulling over and adding a little bit here and there. Which I don't have a temperature gauge. We don't have any kind of gauges. Temperature gauge I've got is see if there's smoke coming from the motor. Let's see what kind of other wire connectors we've got here. Before I get it completely full, I'm gonna make sure it's not leaking. I think we're holding our own on it. Okay. Gonna hold in place? Yep, yeah, it'll. It's always a good thing when you got a gas tank strapped to the front of your car and brakes that are questionable. Eh, yeah. <laughs> Somewhat questionable. Well, one good thing though is the headlights don't work, so it's not going to heat up and blow up. <laughs> I hope it don't rain. Yeah, yeah. Whether you had wipers <laughs> or not, you had no wiper blades, or wiper arms, or anything. 
get you some string and pull it back and forth for them. There ain't even no wiper arms though. Uh, oh. <laughs> Let you ride on the roof with a pal or something. I'm lay on her belly. <laughs> every, every time you need to stop, you just hit the brakes, let her slide forward a little bit. <laughs> well, the most important thing of all, did you fix the radio? Uh, I couldn't find the radio. <laughs> or I would. I had to listen to my phone on the way home. Sure, my attention will be in a whole lot of other areas than the radio. This is going to be our first run with hopefully working brakes. I've got an ignition switch wired in there where I can kill it in case of an emergency. We've got the oil changed. Hopefully she'll crank back up today. If she does, we'll try to mount some cameras on this old girl, hit her on down the road and see what kind of looks we can get. See if all this mess works. Uh -oh. Come on. Well, she is running. Give it just a second, let that oil circulate everywhere. The brake pedal feels pretty good. <laughs> well, she's a rough riding little booger. I'll run over any of these chickens out here. <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, I don't have any kind of gauges of any sort to keep an eye on stuff, but at least it did still have antifreeze in it. So I'm hoping the water pump's working. Still idled a little high. Hopefully the oil pressure's good. Got no oil in it. I just wanna ride her around here and see how she does for just a second. See if she'll spin the tires over, maybe. Oh, yeah. A <laughs> little bit. She's running pretty good. I think that was tire dust, or it may have been just smoke. <laughs> We're going to switch up some camera angles and try to hit her on the road, I think. I think she's good to go. I don't know if that was tire smoke or engine smoke. <laughs> Had to be tire smoke. That exhaust comes out this side. <laughs> well, let's throw some different camera angles on it and send her on down the road. Yeah, here we go. Let's see what she does on the highway. Sun is in a bad spot. Got Dad and Christian gonna follow behind me in case anything crazy happens. I think she's gonna do just fine though. First time moving on her own power in about 20 so years, I'd say. No hood, gas tank strapped to the front of the car. But hey, we do have brakes. Got about 15 miles back to the shop, so a little bit further than our just up the block trip we make. Should be a little interesting. Let's see if she'll spin the tires. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I could even gotten second gear. <laughs> well, so far so good. My steering's a little long jaw and I can't see out of any mirror in this thing. Wish I'd have thought and got an app on my phone where I could actually see how fast I'm going. So I have no idea. I'll look for smoke on the motor, see if we're getting hot or anything like that, but I think the water pump's pumping fine. We had a coolant still in the system, so that's a good sign. I don't think we had any major leaks. I mean, something that's set for 20 years, more than likely, it's going to leak down its fluid if it has anything major going on with it, but we're in third gear, rolling around pretty good. So the steering's a little, little loose on it and brakes, yeah, they're working pretty good. Good enough to stop. I don't know if there's gonna be road construction going on up here or not, but we'll see when we get up there. Should grab some attention if so. Pretty happy with this whole thing. Bought her for 300 bucks, so had one other bidder bidding against me and I think we're getting a little hot. I see a little smoke. I'm gonna pull over and check it out past this bridge. Make sure everything looks okay. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. See what we got going on. May just be burning off that old oil on the motor. and I can tell. It's not dripping anything though. Oh yeah, she's hot. She's hot already. Guess I spoke too soon. <laughs> huh. I'll let her cool down a little bit. I think it might be coming out of this. The way they've got that kink there. Looks like it's coming out of where they had bypassed the heater core. Yeah. The lower one, I think. Yeah. Yep. But it's not dripping down anywhere. That's what's crazy. It's a lot of steam. I don't think I've drove it enough even to get that hot anyways. Yes. Now the radiator cap ain't even hot. Watch yourself. Oh. Yeah, I guess it's warm, but not, not, not hot. nothing crazy. Wish I knew I could pull that off and just go on in. Yeah, I don't know. Huh? I don't know. That way it's not building up with pressure as much. Can't see nothing because it's so steamy. Yeah, on there pretty tight. You want it loosen? Yeah, we've oh. got more, don't we? Yeah. May just take it off, fill it back up. And... Nah, it's hot, ain't it? It's, it's hot. pretty hot. Huh. Yeah. Wouldn't have thought it could have got that warm that quick. Wouldn't have thought so. Surely the, well, we've seen the water pumping through it and that, so. Right. I guess I'm gonna take it back, make a game plan. I don't think I can make it that far. I don't want to chance it and just blow it up just because you want to do an interview piece? I've been filming. Yeah, we can, but I've been talking too, just so that we could use that, so yeah. Well, we made it less than probably a mile up the road. 
I was just bragging on how I didn't have a temperature gauge, but I thought it wasn't going to overheat. Uh, obviously, we have some kind of problem here that is causing it to have a little bit of a heat issue. Uh, so we still got a lot further ways to go that way than we do back that way. So we can at least know that I'd rather leave it down there than on the side of the road if we have to. So we're going to put it back down there, uh, dig into taking off some of these holes, see what we can't figure out to make it where it's not getting hot, where we can take it on back. I don't know, I just know what people are gonna say. Get the trailer! <laughs> it doesn't make sense what we're doing, but I guess we'll go back. Let's see if she'll crank back up. It's good to me. We may have to get back and try to pull the thermostat loose or they've got the heater core bypassed, which should be fine. That's, that's the hose is kind of kinked off, but I think it should still circulate the way we need it to. If we can pull out the thermostat, make sure it's not, it looked like everything was pumping through the radiator like the water pump was pumping when we filled it up with fluid but like I said it's a little closer down here for us to go ahead and work on it rather than on the side of the road anyways. made it back to the spot. She is screaming too. Don't know where to go. Pull her back in the gate, I guess. She's hot, folks. That's no good. She's getting warm fast. I'll try to pull it back in there and take some hoses loose. Maybe pull that thermostat out or something. And, uh, yeah, unless the radiator's just completely stopped up. But yeah. Yeah. Hopefully it's not too hot to crank back up. I don't know why it's revving so high. Well, girl, you don't want to leave the farm? Dig into you a little deeper. Oh yeah, she's hot. Maybe why they parked it.
Well, that may be why they parked it. She's steamy. Well, guys, we made it back to the place we started. Uh, and I was bragging on her a little bit too soon. It's obvious that she was getting hot on us. We're looking around here. Uh, the, the heater core hose just, it wasn't even connected really, but you can tell it's just full of rust all up in there anyways. So I'm gonna say the water pump's just completely shot on this thing. Uh, it may not have been pumping the way it needed to be. We'll come back out here, start messing with this cooling system, definitely put a new water pump on it, new thermostat. Uh, maybe have to change out some of these hoses where all that cooling will flow through it the way it needs to. Uh, but we know she runs, we know she drives does an okay burnout as well. So we don't want to burn it up trying to go home. We'll get this thing where it's running a little cooler, send her on down the road and see what we can do with her next.